This is Tim from Caradoc Games. Today I'm going to show you how to play Death Trap. Here's a typical setup for a four player game. First of all, we shuffle the room cards and the green cards and the black cards. The room cards are the gear shaped ones. We shuffle them and they can be done. You have to be careful, but they can be shuffled. All right, and you take the top one, put it face down anywhere in the middle of the playing area. Then take all of the tokens or pawns that each player is using and set it on top of it. That's the first room that you start with. Then we take the black death trap cards and shuffle them and hand out two to each player. The rest go into the uh, out of the game, which is for me, I usually use the top or the bottom of the box. At the beginning of the game, each player gets two black death trap cards. Here we have quick reflexes and a key. Key is an evidence card. Whenever this player, which is green, whenever green escapes the maze, if it does, then uh, he gets the 20 points bonus toward his score, toward winning. Quick reflexes, green. Anytime this player has to roll a green die, he may use this once per turn and re-roll it. And he has to take whatever the new roll is. The red player has a blue quick reflexes and good luck. Quick reflexes on the blue is the same as the green, except it affects only a blue die. The good luck is discard this card from your hand and re-roll any dice that you rolled this turn. Like you rolled all three dice, well, roll them all again. In addition, you get another chance to re-roll the blue one. The blue player, in this example, has two of the quick reflexes with the red. This means that any time he rolls a red die and he doesn't like the result, he has two chances to roll it again to get the result he wants. Yellow player, we're only playing four players on this game, this turn, has the apple and the assassin. The apple, discard this card and gain 10 life immediately. When you discard a card, chunk it into the box, which is out of the game. He also has the assassin card. And as you can see, this allows the yellow player to murder someone in the game. Just flat out attack them. To attack would mean you roll the green die, and whatever whatever person is in the same room with him, he picks out who it is. They take five damage. But that ends the combat for that for him. The next person, who in this setup game would be green, if green is in the room, they can attack him in return. And so can the others. So be real careful about who you attack because they could gang up on you. You want to keep your cards secret. So don't show any of these until you have to. Like when you want to play that, that's fine. Use it. If you want to do this, attack your first person. You have to lay it down in front of you. Everybody knows that you're a killer. And they can act accordingly. Run from you attack you, whatever. Now, let's go for a setup. We've already rolled to see who the first player is going to be, which will be green. Which means that the person to their left, which is red, will be the one who gets to go next. So, for the first turn, green decides he's going to go this direction. So, take the top card and plop it down there any way he likes. It should fit into one of these grooves here or even to here. Now the way you turn to read it, that's your personal preference. Preferably wherever your settings, how you read it. This one is a green room. He automatically goes in it. It is a flamethrowers. This is the only one of this type. Alright. Notice the question mark on the green die. He rolls this one time. Green rolled a three. But, since he has the quick reflexes, he can roll it again. Possibly get higher. Oh, six. 
So now each player must roll a six or take six damage. Red players next three. Nope, they take six points damage. Blue missed it. They take six points of damage. Yellow missed it. They take six points of damage. See, red missed it. Six damage down to 14. Blue missed it down to 14. Red missed it down to 14. Green's ahead right now. You know, this is a special space, and this being green a room. The, all the, what happened was it went in here, the trap set off every other room in the that is out in play. Every other room would have had to take damage. So it didn't matter where these other players were, they would have had to fight this flamethrower popping up in the rooms they were at. Now, turn for red. Red chooses to follow into this room. Now, this is the flamethrowers have already been used. If the room was empty and you just walked into it, then it would activate the flamethrowers in all the other rooms again. Blue player's turn. They decide not going to go with them. They just break off on their own. They're going to go out this direction. Red trap room. Flying glass. Notice the green, the red, and the blue die. You must match them exactly or take one point of damage or loss of life for each one that you miss. Green one, got it. Red two, nope. Blue three, nope. That's one right out of three. That means blue would take two damage. But blue has these cards, has two chances to reroll the red. It needs a two. Nope. Nope. So it didn't make any difference. So blue has one. One of the arm, traps disarmed, one part of it, and takes two damage. This marks it down. Twelve. Yellow's turn. Yellow's going to go in there, but since the first one is already solved, all he has to do is roll for these two. Missed and missed. Now, since yellow had to take two damage, Let's mark them down to 12. They said, okay, let's go ahead and do this here. They've got the apple card. Discard this for 10 life. Drop that out. Now, add 10 to it. They've got 22 life. They've got more than they started with, which is cool. But, he also has the assassin card. If he feels like it, yellow can attack. And yellow will. He's alone with blue, so it takes the green die, rolls it, does one damage to the blue. Right down to 11. This card is laid out. Everybody sees this card now. Everybody knows yellow is a killer. Or in this case, assassin, but they're all the same. Now it is green's turn. Green, it's like green could try to go into here. It's a safe room, but... And let's get away from blue or yellow. So let's go this way. Ah. Let's go this way and it is a green room with a death trap on it, which means draw a card. Left shoe. Discard this card to peek into the next room. And since he hasn't used a card yet, he's going to do that. Do now. Just guard want to see what room what's gonna be there. Intense heat. All fours. Okay. Well he knows whatever he can't go in there, he's already moved. But he can set it here. Or of course he can set it there. But he's gonna do it here. And he knows what that room is, but no one else does. If somebody else wants to see what it is, they've got to go in there. Which would be the same as going to the other places. But green knows what that one is. If there was an accident, they could actually go around and try for points, find evidence cards, and then go hit the exit. But that's risky. Red player's turn. They could go in there, which is safe. They can go in there, which is safe. Let's see if the exit's this way. 
nope reset reset all rooms okay that means any room that has no one occupy is removed there's that one this one this one these are out of play out of the game now we have a gap between everybody blues in bad situation stuck there with the killer but other rooms can be placed back down in here to connect them again the purpose of the reset room is to reset the rooms move them around like what the, what has just happened some of the rooms have moved blue again they've been attacked by yellow so they can either move away or if they would like and they're going to return the attack six points of damage against the yellow which isn't that big a deal and they're going to move this way ah room of nails need a three on the green and a three on the blue and missed both of them so it takes two more points of damage nine yellow's turn well you got the size well i can either find another room try to find the exit but eh, i'd rather not to have the exit try to remove another player it's going to go in there and attack green uh, attack the blue with the green die two more damage to the blue he's down to seven Green's turn. Uh, green says he doesn't really want anything to do with them. He's going to go out and try and find the exit on this end. Let's go here. There it is, vacuum. Another red trap. Missed on all three. So green loses three. They're down to 17. Now for red. They don't really want to go in there. They can go in here, but it can't get a card, so what's the point of that? Uh, let's say, let's not connect them. Let's see so what we can find up this direction. Yeah. Now they can draw a green card. Passport. The red player now has an evidence card worth 25 points. So if they can find the exit, then uh, that's 25 points toward winning. Blue's got less life than the yellow, so he thinks he's going to run. He, he can look and see he won't have room to put a room here to draw and go into that room because those rooms won't be open, but the one here would. But before he moves, he's going to attack yellow in return. Wow, one point of damage. Yellow's down to 15. What we do? And he goes this direction. And we have chemical lasers. It needs three sixes. And he didn't get it. But he has he can re-roll the red one twice for a six. Nope. Got one. So instead of six six six, he's got one six four. So he takes two points of damage. Next one down to five. Now for yellow. Of course, yellow is going to keep trying, so they're going to move in there and attack blue again for another one point of damage. Which gets four. Blue is hurting really bad. It's green's turn, and they roll for here. They found the exit. First one out. Green gets a bonus of 25 points. For being first one out and he's out red says let's get out of here so he goes over there to the exit and takes it out red is out he has evidence he gets 10 points for being making the exit now it's blue's turn blue's going to take another shot at the yellow for six damage. 
drops him down to nine. And he goes. He enters the reset, which is probably wasn't a good thing to do. Reset every room that is not occupied, taken out of the game. So in their haste to get away, they made a big mistake. And they've already moved. They could play a card if he had one, but he has no card here to use. So his turn's over. Yellow. Let's go over and try and finish him off. Five points damage. Blue only has four. Blue is dead. Knock him over. Yellow gets all of their cards. If they had a black card for this soul survivor or the killer, or if they had this one, they wouldn't be able to use it unless they decided to do that is also. There's a problem. The only exit is gone. So there's no way that Yellow can win. On top of that, their rules for winning is gone. No one must be allowed to escape. If one person escapes, you lose. That means that yellow loses no matter what happens. That's the end of the game. Now let's tell up some points. Well here we have our points. Green had 17 life left when they made the exit. So they gave them 17 points for that. 25 points for being the first person to exit. And they had the key, which is worth 20 points. So they came up with the 62 points. Red had 14 life points, 10 points for the exit, and 25 points for the passport card. They made 49 points. Now blue, blue died, so blue has no points. They were out of the gate. Yellow, yellow had 9 life points left, but they couldn't exit. It was impossible. If the if exit still hadn't been found, they could still have played, but they couldn't. And because of the assassin, card told them no one could escape or else they'd lose, they lost. So the winner of this game is Green. On behalf of Caradoc Games, thank you for watching this video. Enjoy the game.